Hi, I'm Trudy with Heal Wellness and Therapy, and I'm here today with my friend talking about the hip. Specifically, we're going to talk about one muscle in the buttock region that is a hip rotator called the piriformis, P-I-R-I-F-O-R-M-I-S. If we look at the back of this anatomical model, we see some muscles on his pelvis area, but the piriformis muscle isn't quite there, so I'd like to show you where it is. The piriformis muscle attaches to the outside of the hip, and it comes all the way up and attaches to the entire pelvis area, including this little thing here called your tailbone. And so because it is a muscle that comes up and attaches like my fingers are, it oftentimes is really tense and tight, particularly if we do a lot of sitting, a lot of uneven sitting, or if we walk in manners that are uneven. So we are going to work today at discussing methods of making that muscle a little bit more relaxed or a little bit longer than where it likes to be if it's in an imbalanced position. To find the piriformis muscle for elongation, it does take several steps. And what we're gonna do today is we're going to also go through three ways to elongate the piriformis muscle. To begin, you're gonna bring your knee up to your chest and you're gonna hug the knee to the chest then take the opposite leg and bring it down onto the mat in this position. Now, take a nice deep inhale, and then as you exhale, pull your knee towards your shoulder, keeping this leg nice and taut, good. Now begin to take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, pull your knee to the midline of your body, keeping the right hand against the knee, letting go with the left hand, Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, clasp the ankle or the shin wherever you can reach. And now maintaining the knee midline to the chest. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale, slowly pull that ankle up towards that opposite shoulder. Inhale, engage this leg down onto the floor so that the spine stays stable. And then exhale, pulling the knee to the chest, the ankle towards the shoulder. Two more breaths for me, nice deep inhale in. Exhaling, knee to chest, ankle to shoulder. Don't forget about this leg, deep inhale, pushing it into the floor, and exhaling, pulling the knee to chest and the ankle to the shoulder. Slowly releasing the ankle first to get the knee and the ankle on axis with the hip, taking a nice deep inhale into your chest, Exhaling, pulling that knee inward with a stable spine. Inhale, lifting the left leg up, bending the knee. Exhaling, pulling it into your chest. Repeating this on the opposite side. Take a deep inhale. Exhale with both hands, bring the left knee to the chest. Right leg, simply bring it all the way down the mat until it meets the floor. Take another deep inhale. As you exhale, pull the left knee into your chest. Beautiful. Now take a deep inhale. Exhale, bringing the knee to the middle of the chest. Holding it there. Now holding the knee just with the left hand, taking the right hand away and grabbing down with an inhale and an exhale, holding here. Taking a deep inhale. As you exhale, taking that left ankle and attempting to bring it towards the right shoulder while that knee stays midline in the chest. Now comes all of the components. Inhale, pushing the right leg down into the floor. Exhale, pulling the left knee into chest, pulling the left ankle towards shoulder. Beautiful. Inhaling, pulling this leg down into the floor, keeping it stable. Exhaling, left knee to chest, left ankle to right shoulder. Let's do one really good last breath. Deep inhale, engaging the right leg, and exhaling, pulling the knee into the chest and the ankle towards the shoulder. Getting the hip back in alignment first, releasing through the ankle, bringing the knee in alignment with the ankle and the hip, taking a deep inhale here, exhaling the knee into your chest. Taking an inhale with a stable spine, bending the leg up, and then exhaling it, bringing it into your chest, 
to fully open up through the gluteals and lengthening through the back. Very good, thank you. We're now gonna work on a second exercise or technique for lengthening that piriformis muscle, that hip rotator that tends to be so problematic for everybody because of how much of an attachment it has within the pelvis. So for this particular video, we're gonna stretch my friend's inside hip first so that you can see the alignment of the leg and then we'll do the second leg after that. So pull your left knee up and in and then take the left foot and bring it to the right side of the mat. From that position, level your pelvis by dropping the right hip bone. Once you're there, slowly begin to lower yourself down onto your hands and knees with the knee to the midpoint of the chest, lengthening through the back of the neck and settling the chin in. If from there you don't feel too much tension in the buttock region that you won't be able to breathe and relax, you can then start to elongate or lengthen the right leg as long as the pelvis region stays level. Beginning active elongation or a method to actively relax the muscle. Take a nice deep inhale into your belly and as you exhale, focus on the area of your left buttock just relaxing. Deep inhaling in and exhaling. As she continues, it's absolutely imperative when you're stretching the piriformis muscle to work on a very deep inhale because that muscle does attach to the pelvic floor. So if we want that muscle to relax, we need to make sure we get a full inhale to fully expand and relax that pelvic floor. And one more deep inhaling in lengthening, and then as she exhales, slowly thinking about this area relaxing. Now that the left piriformis has been lengthened, we're gonna have her come back up onto her hands, walk herself back, bring her left knee back, bring her right knee forward, bring it up and in, crossing to the opposite side of the mat, leveling the pelvis first, then dropping herself down onto her elbows from being onto the elbows position, making sure that there's no unlevelness through the pelvis. If she still has more length, starting to slowly bring the left leg back, maintaining the knee in the midline area of the chest, lengthening the neck, settling the chin, then beginning to focus the inhale and the exhale to the midpoint on that pelvis area to really get that exhale to relax the tone in the muscle. So every inhale, the pelvic floor kind of widens, shortening, and then as she exhales, she can relax into the muscle. Deep inhaling in, adding in tension first, and then as she exhales, slowly allowing the area to lengthen and the muscle to relax. Once she has completed three to five slow inhales and slow exhales, once again, walking herself back up onto her wrists, onto her hands, bringing her right knee back, finding herself in the tabletop position, and finishing the activity. We have reviewed the piriformis muscle, that little muscle inside the buttock area that causes everybody dysfunction related to activities, sleeping, daily life. So to conclude this video, I want to give my friend an opportunity to ask me any questions as to the self-care of the piriformis muscle. So Trudy, how often should I stretch the piriformis? And then is there a better time during the day to do that, whether morning or evening or both? That's a great question. What I advise most clients relative to the piriformis muscle is it is important to understand what activities it is that you are doing that are causing tension and tightness in the muscle. If you are not an efficient sleeper and you have poor hygiene with sleeping, it's important to correct your sleeping habits and stretch your piriformis muscle every morning because for most individuals, that is actually the routine daily activity that causes the most imbalance in their piriformis. For those of you that have desk jobs that drive too much, make sure that you are stretching throughout the day when you have been sitting 
prolonged for more than one to two hours, and get up and move. It is the best self-care you can do for your body. Thank you. Thank you. Now, to end, please make sure that you like this video. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments and we will answer your questions. Subscribe to my YouTube channel by selecting subscribe and the bell. Select the bell so that you can be notified when we have the next video completed so that you can watch it as well. Thank you for joining me with Heal Wellness and Therapy.